Good morning students. In this video, we are going to discuss about Creative Office Applications OpenOffice Writer. OpenOffice Writer is the word processor application. It is used to create word documents and other documenting works. OpenOffice application from the Microsoft company. Uh, it was uh, developed and uh, published before Office Pack, MS Office Package. It's uh, like MS Office Package, but it has some uh, um, less features, uh, less uh, functionalities compared to MS Office. After end of this video, you will be acquired uh, what is Open Office and how to open Open Office Writer, how to save and uh, close the Open Office Writer. And how to prepare a document, simple document, or how to create a simple letters in OpenOffice Writer. And uh, you will acquire other document uh, editing um, uh, procedures and setups, and a modern setup, and how to decorate your documents, how to put a border for your documents, and how to align, make alignments for your documents. So these things <coughs> you will be uh, acquired uh, from this lesson. Now, objectives of uh, this lesson, we are going to discuss about what is open office, how to open it, uh, open office document, and how to save it, and how to uh, set uh, page style and modern setups, and how to uh, put borders for your uh, document, and how to insert the pictures and other uh, needed uh, uh, clipboard files to your documents. These things you are going to learn in this uh, chapter. Uh, let me explain uh, this lesson first uh, slide what is open office open office is a powerful office suite uh, it is a word processor uh, it is an open source software that is being developed by numerous developers uh, we can uh, download from its uh, uh, free and it is available in internet it's an open source you can anyone can download it and we can uh, create your document in using it uh, here, uh, the there is a steps to open. Uh, how to uh, open this application? You have to install uh, this software in your PC, and you have to go to start all programs and click on the Open Office Writer, Open Office Package uh, name, and you can see uh, following things are there: Open Office Writer, Open Office Call, and Open Office Impress, and uh, other uh, options are there. You have to open Open Office Writer. So once you have clicked open office writer, uh, primary window uh, will be opened, a blank document appears. Uh, this is the area you are going to create, uh, type your words and insert your images and uh, draw your shapes and uh, you can insert more uh, clipboard files here and uh, you can start typing. So after, uh, this is the primary area you are going to uh, do your uh, task here. Uh, it is very simple applications like uh, MS Word, uh, Microsoft Office package. Um, using uh, the uh, main menus, we can uh, set your alignments and you can increase, decrease the font size and the fonts, uh, uh, type, font style. And it's uh, you can um, do alignments, say justify, uh, justification of your paragraph and uh, set other properties. You can insert the bullets and you can um, insert header and footer for your documents. So like a word, you can um, start your doing your um, document preparation. So this is the primary area you are going to create your documents. So when you right click the uh, page, you can see uh, document set page options. You can see more page options. Uh, as per requirements, you can uh, uh, set your page views and add increase your pages. And you can set margins for your uh, document uh, preparations. This is the option we have in open office. So let me explain uh, page style uh, setting setting up your page style in open office. You have to go uh, page setup uh, in a main menu and you can set a paper size and a margin setups the top margin, the right margin, or left and top bottom margins. Here you can see more options and provisions are there. You can uh, go through the properties uh, window, you can set your margins and and this is the option for uh, setting up borders. Once you uh, started uh, or completed your uh, document uh, work, you can uh, set outline borders for your documents. We have more options, more borders are there. Like MS Word, you can go to borders, page borders, and you can set it. 
Uh, next thing we are seeing here how to insert a picture in a document just right click it or you can go to uh, main menu insert options are there insert pictures from clipart or you can uh, download from internet google page you can uh, copy the picture and uh, right click it or paste it or press uh, sort use shortcut keys control c and control v after the once you have placed the picture you can right click it uh, in the picture click on mouse of the picture and right click it you can uh, see more options and uh, begin the text in front of text or top of the text just uh, change the properties of this picture once you have uh, did uh, these uh, uh, provisions enabled you can move your picture around the screen and next we are seeing here how to save and open office writer go to file menu click the save you can give your file name and I give extensions you can see a dot doc and uh, you can save us uh, go off go for save us options you can change the, your file name option computer in your home uh, just download from internet install it uh, you can uh, work with open office applications you will get some knowledge open office right is um, a very simple application in this lesson you have learned how to open and how to close and what are the uh, screen uh, uh, menus and what are the other uh, properties and um, tools are there we discussed just open it and start typing and you can go through the all the menus you can understand it once you have start doing you will uh, get and uh, you can enhance your knowledge or uh, you have make some mistakes you can learn from your mistakes so you have a computer in your home so next chapter we are uh, seeing here uh, chapter 10 open office call it's like a ms excel uh, it's a, a open office spreadsheet uh, program uh, using open office spreadsheet program you can uh, uh, create a big database or you can enter more data using excel on the table or uh, borders are there so it is uh, very flexible to use you can make uh, some calculations you can um, do some accounts purpose works and we can take a data analysis report uh, we can get uh, manage information system using spreadsheets program so this is the open office call it's like a ms excel um, we can do more uh, operations more database works in using that what is open office call it is the spreadsheet uh, program it is used to create tables and other charts and more you can create a tables you can create a database and you can present your data with the charts and you can uh, present your data with the pictorial representations so these things we can see use in um, uh, from uh, open office call and you can uh, do more calculations using a spreadsheet programs and you can uh, uh, create a big database and you can uh, take a uh, data analysis and uh, from uh, more options are there we have a data filter options we have a data sorting options are there using that you can uh, create a big database we can get create uh, data analysis uh, uh, from that uh, this is the simple as per sheet you can see uh, default it has the three seats uh, we can say it's a workbook uh, your workbook has the th uh, three worksheets uh, each worksheet has a combination of rows and columns we have a it has the column heading uh, alphabet letters a b c d and the row serial numbers row numbers 1 2 3 4 5 it has more columns and more rows uh, every uh, grid uh, we can say it's a cell so, okay in the cell you are going to enter the data here you can see a uh, top menu is there you can say, uh, see the eight tabs are there file insert page layout margins and other options we have in that and other data alignments options and the provisions are there you can set borders you can merge grids you can set uh, uh, other uh, options or decorations for your tables and databases you have a computer uh, in your home and uh, install it to open office call and uh, start uh, typing uh, some data in your uh, applications and you can uh, get some knowledge from open office call i will upload them in my next video tutorial for uh, how to enter data using the system our next chapter we are going to uh, discuss uh, about open office impress it's like a ms powerpoint applications open office impress applications it is easy it is used to uh, create uh, uh, presentations uh, um, when you have you want to present some uh, data or you want to present some uh, lessons in front of some audience you can use open office impress applications it's like a yeah, ms powerpoint presentations 
uh, here you are looking how to uh, <coughs> create uh, open uh, presentation open office impress uh, presentations go to open the applications and you can see open office impress click that uh, name of the applications uh, you will uh, get a primary window of these applications so just uh, uh, <coughs> like uh, ms uh, office powerpoint presentations you can see here uh, next step uh, choose empty presentation and click next uh, this is you want to present empty presentations or we have more other options or uh, default some some templates are there using that you can uh, start your presentations work or you want to create your own presentation some headings and some con te text contents you can go for a uh, blank presentations uh, here you can see uh, select sub actions and under select slide design and click next you want to uh, choose your slide designs uh, with uh, some uh, uh, graphical uh, or animated or some uh, uh, bordered uh, slides you can go for that uh, you can select it and next uh, you can see here select a slide transition and choose effect speed and click uh, create you want to present when you present your presentations you can set uh, some animation and transitions uh, it will uh, uh, like a graphics you can uh, see here uh, moving around the screen or jumping around the screens or some uh, animated uh, designs out there using on that next we are looking here type heading in the first slide you can start uh, create your slides here as per your requirements you can make a, a creation of slides here uh, you are going to present some lessons or you're going to give some data uh, data uh, oriented uh, um, topics or they can create it and uh, you, want, you can insert some pictures from your uh, clipboard files or your computer or local hard disk um, you can go for insert pictures options and you can uh, insert some pictures and some uh, videos and uh, movie uh, clips uh, some other files uh, mp3 files and uh, you can insert more files we have attachments options in the slides options our next thing we are seeing here uh, the picture is inserted into the slide and the save uh, press f5 it is used to save the uh, save your uh, slide to view presentations you can uh, run a slide so uh, you can uh, see your preview of your uh, pre pre slide presentations you can um, <coughs> uh, watch your presentations using f5 key next chapter we are going to uh, see here mail merge in open office so we are going to uh, discuss about mail merge option in open office uh, writer what is mail merge uh, mail merge it is the option we have in open office writer it is used to uh, sent uh, one letter copy to many uh, recipients it is the mail merge option we have in open office this is the lesson we are going to see how to create a mail merge options and how to use it so what is the main purpose of using mail merge you can send one letter to more participants open open office uh, writer applications you can see uh, top of the menu a mail merge option is there so we have to go for that uh, option and click on uh, that option you can see you can create your mail match you want to send a uh, one letter to more uh, persons you can go for mail match so here we are here we are looking here how to create a, uh, a mail match option uh, you have to go for mail match and select uh, create a new database and click next you have to first create a, uh, your recipient address and uh, their uh, name of the person and their address uh, you have to create a uh, tools body of your letter so it's a uh, like a letter uh, we are writing manually from part and to part in the manual letter like that you have to create your uh, uh, designations uh, participants address and their name and their details once you have created your uh, secretary your database it will be uh, synced with your uh, file and uh, you can just type uh, letter copy letter content in that uh, option it will be sent to all the persons this is the uh, provisions we have in uh, open office writer mail match so we can create uh, one letter it can be sent to more uh, recipients it is the option we have in mail match uh, option in open office writer so i will send a practical video for this lesson then only you can understand of, of how to use open office writer and open office call the open office
opera office impress so watch this video follow these steps or uh, open the applications and try it uh, to do uh, in your system you can understand and you can get more knowledge and uh, any doubts uh, send your doubts to whatsapp group or mail my mail id i will clear your queries complete the class of writing and our book activities for uh, this open office uh, applications uh, try yourself mock the answers and uh, complete the notebooks and hand out to school the effective uh, learning for open office applications uh, you can uh, watch the, when you watch this video you can understand only 50 percent of this uh, lesson so other 50 percentage you have this is the video for modifying a worksheet so here uh, i have entered uh, some few data look at the video you can understand how to uh, edit data in ms excel workbook <coughs> So here, I am going to uh, insert uh, rows and columns and uh, edit uh, my rows and columns in this uh, worksheet. I am increasing the column width. So just move mouse cursor and drag and go to top menu. You can uh, see uh, columns uh, width options. Okay, you can increase as you want. So just enter the number. You can increase as much as you want. You can increase the column width. So next edit the options is there modifying. So look at the video. So here I have selected the row. I'm inserting a few more rows. Uh, go to this option and uh, delete. I have deleted. So you want to change uh, or insert rows in between rows, just select the uh, rows first and go to uh, the menu. So you can insert uh, any row or right click it. Just uh, right click and you will get uh, more options and you can enter new row in between the your uh, data. So this is the option uh, we have in MS Excel uh, we can do. And you want to delete or you want to insert a column just select the column and you can go for the home menu you can delete or insert a new columns okay so this is the way how to edit your tables I'm entering a new column in my table so look at the video I want to select I have selected two rows and I have deleted two rows okay I don't want to two rows I have deleted so for anything you have to select uh, two use mouse cursor and select the rows or columns and just right click it or you want to decrease or increase the column width you can go for uh, these options so look at this uh, screen with this uh, this page i'm uh, doing uh, deleting uh, inserting and deleting a column here Now I want to merge my uh, uh, cells in my uh, table. I want to uh, give a heading for my table. We have merge options. First you have to select the rows and you can go for merge. When you click the merge, it just all the cells will be merged. Okay. So you want to give a title for your uh, table. We can go for uh, merge options. You can do. So watch this video, you can understand uh, how to edit or insert a columns or modifying worksheet in uh, MS Excel version 2007. In my previous uh, first part, I have uh, done with uh, MS Excel 2010. So same options, same um, operations we have to do in uh, older version of MS Excel 2007. So look at this table, uh, they have entered some uh, data. Here I am going to uh, change, increase or decrease column height and width. Okay, as per requirement, you can increase. Use the mouse cursor, dragging that you can increase or decrease your uh, column width or column height. Okay, so we have uh, two more options to increase, decrease column width using uh, entering numbers or using mouse cursor. You can increase or decrease column height and width. So see this. I'm, I have a. Uh, so I have selected a first column of my table and I am increasing and decreasing column width here. 
so place your mouse cursor in uh, with the uh, column uh, header and just uh, use mouse uh, click and dragging your uh, column you can increase or decrease or you can go for a home tab any options are there using that you can increase decrease your column uh, width and height so entering numbers you can do we can go for these options so i am inserted three more uh, columns in my table here so we have a uh, more options uh, for increasing or <coughs> decreasing columns and rows okay it's very simple using home icons or use your mouse uh, you can we can do for this so row height okay you want to increase or decrease your row height you can select the mouse cursor in any row using mouse uh, cursor you can drag your mouse with a serial number you can increase or decrease or entering row height numbers we can go for this one like a column width so look at this video you can understand so these are the modifying options we have in ms excel so using home tab uh, menu op op options we can go for this You want to delete or insert a new rows so select the row and right click it or go for home icon home tab we can uh, insert or delete here i have done inserting uh, new rows in between uh, rows i'm entering new new data in my table so look at this look at this uh, option here so i'm entering new uh, data in my uh, third row of my table it's a very simple or you want to delete so next we are going to i'm going to delete one row in my table so it's a flexible to use to create insert uh, columns in um, in between uh, rows and columns in your worksheet so this is a modifying worksheet so as per requirement you can go for this insert delete a columns and increase its column width I am entering new data. I have inserted here a new column. So using or right click your mouse you can insert a new column you can enter uh, you can create a new one now I have deleted one row in my table I am entering new row in between uh, two rows so inserting rows and inserting uh, or editing rows inserting columns we have op more options in edit options edit tab under the edit tab you can go for uh, right click your mouse we can see options in the uh, right click when you right click your mouse it's very simple okay
yes students uh, we have discussed about open office applications about a uh, word processor spreadsheet and impressions and i have uh, explained uh, with the hands on experience in spreadsheet program so watch this video from beginning to end if you have any doubts you can ask me i will clear your doubts